You've had sex slaves in the past? I have, you know, I, and it's really just because I'm lazy and would rather someone else do things for me. You, you know, know, you call it laziness. I call it efficiency. I like that. I mean, yes, because you know, it's, uh, it's going to get done. It's got to get done. This The, the sex slave get, wanted to do it. You didn't want to do it. Let them do I it. I mean, that sounds like capitalism in a mm -hmm. way to me. And then they do really nice sexual favors for me, too. So mm -hmm. it's just wonderful. Um, sometimes it ends well and they have a great mindset. And sometimes it doesn't because they're fucking crazy. So and they you get had to one attached. time, you yes. had one time when it didn't end so well. Yeah, it huh? didn't end so well. Um, he got extremely attached, went berserks on me, started harassing me, and uh, showing up to my home multiple times a day, vandalizing my home multiple times a day. I had to call the. I, it was so embarrassing, apologizing to friends, family, neighbors, calling the police every day. You know. Not being able to really, I, I would sometimes look out the window and be like, dang, I miss just being happy with people. Yeah. <laughs> like not having to worry about who's at my door, who's yeah. calling my phone. Like it was extreme. I felt like I was in a movie almost. Yeah. And I felt like I had to go through it alone because um, <sighs> it's almost like people weren't believing me or listening to me. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you hear that a lot about people who deal with stalker situations that like people don't take them seriously. Yeah, cops don't take you seriously, and it's almost like, oh, well, you, well, why would you answer his phone call? Well, sometimes I do because I don't know it's him calling me, mm -hmm. you know, or like, you know, they always have a a thing to ask me, but I'm like, how how would you feel if someone was calling your phone fifty times a day, mm -hmm. coming to your house and shooting your house up? How would you feel if somebody threw a knife at your window? How would you feel if the motherfucker was on your fucking porch and and oh. And then today he's in a great mood. He wants to bring you teddy bears and flowers. Like, are you fucking kidding me? What would you do, bitch? The wow. fuck would you do? So what, so, <laughs> what did you do? Like, how did it I, end? I, I, I just called the police. I did. I, I wanted to, uh, you know what? I, I wanted to shoot his ass. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I called the police and called the police and called the police and called the police because as everybody was telling me, you got to call the police. I called the fucking police. And they actually helped. They did. Took a while. But it was a female officer. Okay. And she was heaven sent. Yeah. She really cared. Yeah. And she did not want to see me in a grave. Yeah. She had the opportunity to speak to this man. And she understood what I was. Oh, she was just wonderful. And she has stuck in there through it all. And we locked him up once for seven months. He was supposed to get, I think, a year, two years or something like that. But he ended up doing seven months. Got so did, out. Did you have to go to court? To... I, the first time, no. Okay. No, I did not. I, I got away with not going to court because I just was not, I was not, I did not feel like looking at this man. Yeah, totally. You know, I don't, and every time I feel like I'm in his presence, it does something to him. Yeah. You know, it makes him feel like we're starting all over again or something. Yeah. And I need I need him to understand that that's a no. Mm -hmm. So I tend to not want to even be in his presence, even that if that means in the fucking courtroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the second time, because he's so relentless, he did it again when he got out. God. As soon as he got out, I'm the first person he fucking called. He in the taxi cab taking pictures, talking about I'm out, bitch. Oh, yeah, it's ridiculous. So was he aggressive when he reached out to you again? Uh, or was he like... He has his days. It depends. So it just depends. So depends. some days he's like yeah. kind and sweet oh, and so romantic. so kind and so sweet. Oh, my goodness. And then yes. other days he's angry. Yeah, it just depends. It depends. Especially if I don't even have to do anything to him. Maybe it's a family member that says something. Or maybe a, a friend of mine uh, did something, helped made him lose his job. I don't know. People were sick of his shit. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of my friends, family member, fans were getting sick of him and, you know, retaliating or saying things, you know, to him because he's harassing me all the time. Mm -hmm. And he would come and punish me for that. Wow. Uh -huh. And I wouldn't know why. And so the second time you had to go to court. Mm -hmm. And then did he get put away then? He did. They gave him five years this time. Oh, wow. Is he still in jail? He's in jail as we speak. And then when, do you know when he's getting out? Hopefully. Uh, I mean, let me put it this way. Are you worried about when he gets out? 
Well, they said five years. So, but he could get out. You know how California is. Yeah, he can get out on parole. Three early, three and a half. I don't know. But even like five years. Like, do you think that he's gonna? You know what I mean? Like, he's gonna be I, over it by then, or do you think like? He's I think I'm. Go- I think I'm dealing with a psychopath. No. Yeah. No, I think that this is never gonna be over. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's ever gonna be over. This is crazy. It's it's kind of scary. I ain't gonna lie. A little scary, a little scary. I'm not scared. I'm not so scared anymore mm-hmm. because I know he's put away. Right. But when he's out on the streets, yeah. Oh, I'm I'm losing. My, I'm always looking over my shoulders. I always got a knife on me. I always got pepper spray. I always got some. Always got some type of weapon everywhere I go mm-hmm. because I just I, I I will never allow a man to ever put his hands on me the way that that man put his hands on me mm. ever again in my life. Girl. So he did physically attack you. Oh, broke into my house, did it all, girl. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Girl, you have no idea. Mm-hmm. It was crazy. That must have been awful. That's why he got put away the first time. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.